China to clean up space junk with lasers. From magnets to giant nets, scientists have thought of all sorts of ways to rid the Earth of its space garbage, but leave it to China to come up with the most audacious plan. Earth's orbit is currently cluttered with fragments from old satellites and rocket stages called space debris, which number at least 20,000. Satellites and spacecrafts are frequently at risk of colliding with the fragments and being damaged by even small, pebble-sized pieces. To address this problem, Chinese researchers have proposed launching a satellite-mounted laser that will emit short bursts of infrared light to target small debris. The laser will break down the space debris into tiny, harmless particles and hopefully rid the Earth of its space junk. The plan sounds reasonable enough, but of course, with China, there's no telling if the space laser will actually be for cleaning or be used as a tool for world domination. How do you get rid of garbage in space? Sayonara, space junk! NASA has awarded $50,000 for the development of an innovative new spacecraft that promises to get rid of orbital trash. Space debris in the form of spent rocket parts, old satellites, shrapnel, and other items are accumulating around Earth's orbit, which may make collisions more common. To address this issue, NASA is looking into the Brain Craft, a light 3 foot by 3 foot spacecraft that's thinner than human hair. When deployed, the Braincraft moves toward a piece of debris and wraps itself around the item. It then fires its thrusters and pushes back toward Earth. The spacecraft eventually lowers itself and the debris down to the atmosphere, where both are incinerated. The Braincraft is intended to be light and cheap enough that it can be sacrificed at the end of a cleaning mission. But it may also have other applications beyond just collecting trash. The spacecraft is extremely fuel efficient, making it fully capable of traveling long distances, perhaps to explore and mine asteroids or other space rocks. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency is teaming up with a fission equipment manufacturer to create a net that will clean up space debris in Earth's orbit. It is estimated that 100 million pieces of man-made debris are floating in space. Some 22,000 of that total will measure 10 centimeters or larger, big enough to damage spaceships and satellites. The majority of the debris is found 700 kilometers to 1,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. In February, a wire net made of flexible metal fiber measuring 300 meters long and 30 centimeters wide will be unraveled in space. The wire net will generate a magnetic field that will attract space debris. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency is planning further trials next year. The technology could be deployed as early as 2019. Scientists propose using lasers to clean up space junk. German scientists have proposed using laser pulses to clean up small, irregular-shaped space debris. According to NASA, there are nearly 3,000 tons of space debris in the low-Earth orbit. Wibble shields protect most spacecraft from debris up to 1 centimeter in diameter. However, debris between 1 and 10 centimeters are particularly dangerous, as they cannot be dodged or blocked. One way to clean up the debris is by using high-energy laser pulses to change the orbit of the debris, leading it to re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. Space debris travel at speeds up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, which is fast enough for a small piece of debris to damage a satellite or a spacecraft. A University of Colorado engineer has proposed solving the growing problem of space debris in orbit around Earth by using electrostatic forces. Electrostatic forces occur whenever electrons build up on a surface. The geosynchronous large debris reorbiter or glider craft would bombard a defunct satellite with electrons, giving it a modest negative charge while itself becoming relatively positive. The charged spacecraft would then tug the satellite to a higher orbit before flinging it away into outer space. The method would only work on the roughly 1,200 objects of space junk in a geostationary orbit above the Earth. Glider could remove roughly three objects a year. The method would not work on objects in a low Earth orbit as the space junk would quickly attract charged plasma particles from the Sun and become neutral. Low Earth orbit space junk could be cleared using other methods.